how to mass produce tall birds and not bankrupt your fridge. The idea is simple: set them free and let them grow up in Mother Nature. While off screen, small birds' age will grow and they will never die. But there is one problem: how to set them free. They will see you as parent as soon as they see you. And follow you around. They're so affectionate that if you physically abuse them, they still consider you their parents. I absolutely love them. But because they're so clingy, it's tricky how to safely set them free. Things might go wrong very quickly. To help them survive the wild. First, you need to teach them hunting skills. And teach them, in facing danger, they must calm down and think before acting. After they have mastered it, it's time to quietly walk off. Ten days later comes the most unforgettable moment of any parents: their kids' puberty. Go to check on them and make sure they're okay. Another eighteen days, they're finally grown ups. But growing up doesn't mean they don't need you anymore. They still need your support to navigate through life, find a new home, have a family. But it's honestly still tricky to do all that. Being a parent is never easy. First of all, a new living space, a two times two tile room for four to five tall birds, so that they won't feel lonely. There also needs to be a fire extinguisher and signs for safety reasons. After everything is ready, you go to pick them up. They're so excited that they might pack you, so don't forget armors. They're not very clever. You have to be patient. But they're overly protective. How to meet your grandkids? Another tricky question. Here's how you do it: you gather your grown-up kids and calm them down. So that you can have a quality family time. <laughs> 